gonna be partaking in one of the most heavily defended trench battles that I've ever seen and ever been a part of. There's anti-tank guns, machine gun nests galore. It is all here in Kittermore. Now, at first we're gonna be partaking in the defense of the trench, but then I'm gonna give myself the challenge of trying to march across no man's land, this literal field of death, and try to upseat the defenders by taking these three flag points. Let's see if we can do it. The first thing I need to do is get down to like the front positions where there's machine. What is, is that a monkey? Did you hear that? I, I really think that may have been like a monkey, but look at this. So this is the trench system, the very first trench that we have. That guy's dead because he didn't follow the first rule in trench warfare, which is, if you're supposed to stay in the trenches, well, you're supposed to stay in the trenches. Oh, look, this guy's like, you know what? I have a bright idea. Dude, did you just not see Timmy get wrecked over there? All right, so we're gonna commandeer this belt-fed machine gun here. And when you look out, you can see a pretty good vantage point. Now, the weather's terrible. <laughs> not that that really matters. The enemy's approaching in like basically like metal boxes on tank treads a world war one style like armored personnel carrier i guess way 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 back in the day there was like flash games where you could basically like do a d-day defense and you controlled a machine gun and you could upgrade it and like this is sort of how it feels now I do not like that my gun doesn't really traverse to the right very much, because there's a lot of guys in the open field that I would be trying to shoot at right now. Oh, I got hit by a dude with an anti-tank rifle on the run. Now, right after defending the trenches, we're gonna go into attack mode and try to be on the attacking side. I'm basically like on a side that we don't have very many troops on, and that kind of scary. Like, look at this, look at the minimap. We have nobody on this side. Now, if you look down at the field, we've got what are known as like dragon's teeth, which are basically just big concrete mounds that are supposed to stop tanks from being able to get over them. Uh, oh gosh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, shoot. You see those bullets? Yeah, somebody's like, hey, Baron, what are you doing up there? You, you mind dying real quick? And uh, to be honest, I do mind dying. So all I know is that they're flanking us on the far right side, which does not bode well for our chances of success. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I present to you Ravenfield in all of its glory. That is pretty impressive. This guy is deep down in the mud firing the machine gun <laughs> upside down down the trench. What just happened with all that smoke? Is that an armored vehicle? I don't know what that is, if someone fired a smoke grenade or if it was a tank that was destroyed or damaged. So the enemy would have to basically start flanking us successfully and start killing a lot of us. But one of the cool things I can do is I can place a machine gun, kind of like that guy in the mud did, except this is how you do it properly. And now I've got like a mobile light machine gun anywhere I want. And we got a few little houses here and here's the base camp, our barracks. A couple of our really derpy looking like World War One era trucks because almost all cars and trucks look derpy back then. Yeah, so we have these vehicles, but we can't really do anything with them except, you know, try to get them out of this trench. Hey, I mean, that's why they call it an all terrain vehicle. And I can't shoot at this thing, but I can stop it in its tracks or try to. Guys, I got them stopped. This is a tactic. I need reinforcements. Don't jump out of your armored box when there's guys with guns around. Rule number 73 of Sun Tzu's Art of War. So the enemy has finally flanked us, and we've got, I guess, just this guy right here. Can I shoot him in the head from here? Oh, man, this thing's got the nastiest kick I've ever seen. Yes, I was like, I can see him. I better be able to kill him. They've gotten through the front line of the trench and on the sides as well. Um, we still have three of the flag points that we hold. Uh, that guy just got sniped. I've got this like little SMG. The Sotkin Pocket 9mm, I think is what it's called. Ooh, bullets. So now I've got to be very careful like who's in this trench with me. But all my AI troops are just running blindly to the front. 
I think what we need to do is run down the support trench to the other flag where an enemy vehicle just like bum rushed us. Now we have destroyed like an entire what platoon. I guess it wouldn't be platoon, maybe like battalion of the enemy troops because they're down by 200 and like 80 right now. All right, boys. Oh, this is a really good spot. We have anti-tank guns. <gasps> All right, you may fire when ready. Hey! All right, so this thing fires like a 25 or maybe a 37 millimeter. You biscuit eater! This is ridiculous. Don't don't shoot that gun. Oh, that's a flamethrower. Flamethrower tanks are really bad for your health because they'll burn you to death. If this is the biggest trench battle ever, it sure is feeling like it because when you look at how many vehicles and troops are rushing across this field. All right, I got hit by something and I'm literally at one health and I have no ability to give myself more health. <laughs> There's blue guys behind us. How did they get back there? Is that a blue guy? Yeah. Rosfez? That's how you pronounce that name if you have dyslexia like me. Rosfez instead of Rafez. Is that name like Hungarian or something? Oh my gosh, flamethrower ticks. All right, grenades out. Please, no friendly fire. I really shouldn't have done that, but I did it. <laughs> and no take backsies. Oh my gosh, stop flaming us. Oh, I killed a machine gun and my own troops, so don't tell my commanding officer friendly fire accidentally happened. And I think that's an enemy armored vehicle. I mean, it's definitely an armored vehicle, but I think it's an enemy one. <laughs> War is heck and I have no idea what's happening. And that is an enemy tank. Look at this armored, pe armored personnel carrier with a machine gunner on the top, just like chilling. Did I hit that guy? Yes. All right, I shot the gunner off the top. Look at these guys with their little heads peeking up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if I can't like Grand Theft Auto this truck. Get on my little SMG. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to pull this thing over? Cause you really, oh, shoot. You weren't supposed to get out. Oh no. Oh, this is embarrassing. I was like, not like this, <laughs> not like this. Now I have this vehicle to use for our cause. Now they're overrunning our positions, but they haven't taken a flag. I feel like if they took a flag, we would lose. Now remember that we're gonna have to go on the attacking side, so we're gonna have to adopt certain tactics. Oh gosh, oh no, this is bad. I don't wanna die. <laughs> Why didn't I arm myself with an anti-tank gun? <laughs> no, I'm allergic to fire. All right, so now we're going tank hunting. Is that is that one of them? Yeah, I think it is. The uniforms are so tricky. Yep, Bongtiol. Yeah, these are definitely like, what, Central slash Eastern European names, are they not? Like, as an American, I'm not uniquely qualified to know for certain, <laughs> but we're definitely in a good position to hold our lead. So remember that, in a way, this is sort of like cheating because I, wait a minute, is this thing? <gasps> this is really cool. So the anti-tank gun got destroyed and or damaged. Well, damaged and or destroyed. And this dude with a wrench is fixing it. All the while, like, you know, making himself vulnerable for incoming enemy fire. This is so cool. Please fix this gun. He did! Here, now that you've done all the hard work, let me take, let me take it for a spin. All right, this thing, yeah, it's a 37 because you can tell by the fact that it's RF 37. Ha ha! It, it's got a pretty fast reload rate. Now it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It took like three hits to destroy that tank, but we did destroy it. All right, so now let's go for an armored truck. Think about this. I'm gonna be in the tank probably bum rushing these gun emplacements and this thing can two shot an armored personnel carrier, maybe one shot if I hit him in the engine block. And I think two or three shot a tankette. All right, so that's two on the tank. That's three, have I, have I missed it? It's possible. Maybe there's just armor and I'm hitting the wrong spots. Sir, please, please step away from the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. All right. If I hit the engine block of those trucks, it's a one hit kill and we're getting bomb rushed. Now the enemy's on their last 100 people. We have 300. Hold on, hold my grenade, sir. Oh my gosh, that, that, wait, did that work? No, I hit the other thing. Okay, that does not do any, a very good job. But, woo big explosion, did you see that? All right, how are we doing? We're, we're there's a guy riding a tank. Wait, that means there's a tank coming this way. Oh God, is that a flamethrower? I can't even see what's happening. You know, when in doubt, throw grenades. What's the worst that could happen? I guess team killing. Ooh, I got it. I got the enemy tank and I think I got a friend. 
Wait, I got a friend first and then I got the enemy thing. All part of the plan. Don't tell my commanding officer about the friendly fire incidents, please. Like, I really need to keep this job. I also need to keep my life. Look at this. This is another dude with a wrench. Saving the freaking day. Is this done? Yes, it is. Perfect timing. Oh, I should have aimed at this one since it's armed and charging us. Yeah, I don't know if I hit the engine block. There we go. Straight through that graded engine block is a kill. Also, a bullet straight through my head is a kill for them. Oh, please. Uh, who's dropping the fire muffins? Oh my gosh. Guys, what is happening? All I know is I don't want to be here anymore. The enemy's down to nine troops. Look at this guy. He just bum rushed us. We just got victory. We destroyed the enemy tank. Now, we had 222 extra troops. Whoa! <laughs> and I never died once. Not once. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be difficult to beat. But let's try it. Wait a minute. Did they actually take... They took the back flag. <gasps> that might be the way to do it. Flank up the side and capture that. The first thing, we got to figure out our battle plan. We have three different points we could attack. I don't think the AI would appreciate the nuance of me saying, hey, we'll attack that, because I think they'll try to run through all these trenches to attack that. That being said, the AI was using vehicles and flanking, so let's give it a go. When it comes to tank barrels, the size does matter, okay? So let's see, can I... I'm gonna use this ridge line as for as long as possible. Hey, someone else is actually following me. And then I wanna pop over this hedge. Ooh, watch out for the rocks. Cause look at, this is what it looks like from, uh, you know, the attacker's point of view. It's pretty terrifying. But that trench over there isn't defended. Like I don't see a single person. There's the nearest flag. You can see both flag points. And then there's the base somewhere behind there. But the flag is behind the hill. Now all I have is this flamethrower tank. That's my primary weapon. There's nobody in it with me. Ooh, that thing just got wrecked. Oh, I just got hit. I'm down to 49 health. And I'm down to zero health. Mr. Bosnick. Look at all that machine gun fire. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh, I got my homies with me. What what team are we on? It's Sylvania or Hetland, and I, I think all of my homies hate Hetland, maybe? Right? Is that what we hate, guys? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, there it is. All right. Aim small, miss small. Oh, <gasps> my gunner. Ooh, I took out the gun. But I think I got hit by a second one. I did because or they, it's just anti-tank rifles. There's no way we're getting across this, right? Here. We don't have smoke grenades, but I'll create, like, fire. Distractions! You don't know where I am. <laughs> don't look for the source of the fire. We've attempted to cross no man's land twice and been wildly unsuccessful both times. That's my tank, bud. Hey, good job. You know you're on it. Ride it, ride it. It's like, do I do I try to charge up the middle? Probably not. If I go all the way to this end, that is the weaker spot. We just have to watch out for the dragon's teeth, which are gonna stop our tanks. So we're gonna get off, have to get off on feet. Off on feet. On our foot? <laughs> oh my god. At some point. I love this hedge, man. It, it, you can definitely, like, traverse much of the battlefield. Something is just smacking us. Whoa. This is a really cool area of the map, seeing it from this point. It's a huge, massive hill. This is, like, in theory, as far as, like, the military engineering. Can we get through here? Oh. All right, boys, we're on foot. Like, it's on a hill, so it's got the, you know, a really good elevation. Anakin Skywalker would probably die here. I have the high ground. Don't try it. But the AI not defending it presents an interesting situation. Yeah, very cool map, but it almost seems like, was this part forgotten? It was definitely forgotten to be defended. I feel like this is sort of like illegal. Like, see that? That's the flag I want to back capture. Oh, those are teammates too. Those are AI friends. All right, I just know that there's guys over there. Please, I'm at 61 health. Ah! The AI, look at the minimap. The AI is back capping. They're doing some pretty good tactics. What's the worst that could happen? We die? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely the worst case. Whoa, we captured the forward command post. All right, that's fantastic news. Now, I it sucks that I wasn't part of that. I wish I was part of that. But look at that, there's our flag. And then we got guys with flamethrowers charging the hills. Now we're at 288, they're at 436. That's 
That's really bad. And I think we're losing this flag right now. Oh yeah, the enemy just did like a very, very hard counter. Hold on, we're going bowling for humans. You know that joke that like people make in car like, oh, 10 points for that guy? How many points would you give me for this guy right here with the anti-tank grenade? Oh, ho, ho, ho! cause if it's a lot, thank you. I would do it anyway, but I definitely want a lot of points. Oh shoot, this is not gonna make the turn. Oh shoot, it didn't. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Somehow I'm still alive here. There's fire everywhere. Alright. We took it, but we ultimately failed in holding it. Yeah, I don't know. There's not like an easy way to do this at all. It's like attacking a heavily defended trench is normally a bad idea if you're worried about casualties. <laughs> Hey! Okay, that's a Model 498 machine gun. Alright, so now I have, like, these close-range weapons. But, like, Eagles lost the battalion. We're on our last battalion, and they have, like, basically 2 point... Or 1.93 left. And we got, like, one. Look at this guy just, like, running through. If you see yourself running through fields of grain, fear not for your enemy, at you when you're already dead. What movie is that from? Because I, I feel like that's my homie over here, just running through wheat fields. Try not to die. Hey, well, we have rushed and taken the first part of these trenches. It's just nobody's alive. All right, you know, we're gonna use a flamethrower to sweep these trenches. Trench remover device. Ooh, Marco. <laughs> who wants to get burninated? Barrick, that's the guy who got me. And you know what, now Barrick, ooh! I ran out of flames. The flame has run out. We need air support or something. Attacking this trench is brutal. This is one of the biggest trench battles I've ever partaken in. Nope, yeah, get in your seat. We're going over the top. We got 200 people less than them. There is, in theory, a way to drive straight up this, right? There's a guy right in front of me shooting at this giant metal box. Oh my gosh, what just hit us? Something just destroyed this thing. I had a passenger. Oh! You just raven fielded me. He just like warped Hello. through the tank. You raven you out raven fielded me. I think this is where Ravenfield would be really, really fun, is if you could like if you could give more advanced orders in tactical maneuvers to your AI teammates, like depending on what officer rank you chose, right? Like if you're like, oh I'm a sergeant, you could command like three or four. Right, you're a lieutenant, you get like 20. You're a colonel, you get like 200 or something like that. That would be so cool to be like, all right. Cause I probably actually have some decent progress. So we're down to our last 40 men and they've got 280. That is not looking good. All right, let's try this out. Vengeance. Oh yeah, just like running this machine gun up and down. Hold on. I was getting shot at while this thing was reloading. So all I gotta do is go back to the driver's seat. All right. Yeah, I just went to like the top of the kill feed for us. Yeah, so I think what we need is either much better like tactical options in terms of commanding our troops, or if we had artillery, we could like either barrage them with high explosive rounds or at least smoke grenades to cover in advance or have air support or all of that. Cause right now attacking this trench, this has got to be the most defendable trench I've ever seen. Well, maybe not, but it sure felt like it. And this was the Kidder Moore remake by Lithuanian Dude and Sofa.